Hey, hello there. Good evening and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean. I do love our Tuesdays. 8 o'clock every week for the past 11 years. We've been here with the latest and the best cruise deals. Tonight, we've got oh, we've got something for everybody. Do you know what? I'm going to get straight to it. We're, Glenn is back. Hello, mate. Hello. All right, just got back from holiday. <laughs> He's always away, isn't he? Listen, it was just yep. a little cheeky week away with the family. Well, you look great on it. You Thank really you do, yeah. Put yeah, a nice bit of nice. weight, but you look great. Listen, uh, story <laughs> of my life, that is yeah. <laughs> I'm really joking. No, you look really well. Uh, what a show we've got. Really good one today. We were talking about it before the start. Oh, my word. We've got a great deal over to the Caribbean. Uh, with MSC. Yeah, we've got a good one on Independence of the Seas for later on this year. And we've got a corker with Celebrity. Good to see, we've got a beautiful lady over there. Ruth from Celebrity She'll be is... She'll in, in a minute. Oh, honestly, she's got a, a cruise that I've been desperate to do. Um, and it's the best place I've seen. So we've really got good. a great, great show, yeah. haven't we? Now, before we go any further, I normally do call-outs tonight. Yes, you do, yeah. But my wife's had a problem with her phone. I've had to lend her my phone. It's a big thing we're not going to go into now. <laughs> so I haven't got any call-outs to do tonight because it's all on my phone and I haven't got the details. So I did promise I've got three or four call-outs to do. I will do them again in two weeks' time for you. So apologies okay. for the call-outs. I don't want to get them wrong. I'll do them again in two weeks' time. Well, we are going to start the show with an incredible brand-new ship from P&O, the Iona. Um, Every time we've actually brought the owner on the show, she has been one of the top sellers. Yeah, I think I think the name came out, I think it was this time last year. It was, yeah, a yeah. Massive buzz about the ship. It's going to be the biggest ship sailing out of Southampton. Um, it's being built as we speak at the moment. It's going to do a whole season of Norwegian uh, seven-day uh, seven cruises. But it's selling really, really well at well, the moment. And we've and got what, something a little bit different tonight. And what I can't believe, for a brand new ship, and you'll know this if you're a regular cruiser, a brand new ship... That lead date there, 489 for a week on a brand new ship. Yeah, brand. and I think even if even if the ports are cool, you're just going to go off and have a wonder, go and get on the ship because it looks yeah. wonderful. We're hopefully going to jump on it again when it launches in um, May, but it does look fantastic. I, I'm actually going to say hello to Janet and Colin because they've actually booked the Iona oh, and they're they? really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah they're I very excited. On it this week. And uh, as I said, you've got the Freedom Dining on there, but I think it's still being built as we speak. Mm. Well, let's, let's have a, a little look then nice at there. the beautiful <laughs> Iona. The story so far... This is speeded up slightly. Plenty, yes, yeah. <laughs> but as I said, this is this is this is some of the details about how they start to create the ship. How it's got named, and, and obviously, as you can see now, it's been constructed. Massive job. Five and a half thousand people on this ship. It is going to be a huge ship. Different designs on some of the cabins, but look, it I looks mean, wonderful. It looks lot wonderful. of glass though, isn't it? A lot that? of glass. They've got the glass dome there, so they're going to do a lot. The aerialists are going to be performing in there. The other thing with this one, multiple uh, restaurants. So you've got some included, some you pay a little bit extra for. And again, it's going to be freedom dining. So Great. none of this set dining anymore. You can go and dine when you want, but it looks wonderful. We're still getting more information as we speak. Even though we're selling it, something new will come along. And it's always exciting when a new ship launches. Well, it is our early bird saver tonight. Yeah. And we've got a great family of four prices as well. I think you just saw that uh, under £1,900. Um, but food is going to be really important, as you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, so P&O have, have been working in the last few years with Marco Pierre White, James Martin, Ollie Smith does all the, the wine on there as well. So they're really into their foodies and they've gone real overboard on the, on the restaurants and they look great as well. Well, I think we should have a little taste, we don't you? Have a look at this. Iona, it's very exciting. 17 restaurants, all those different cuisines. It's beautiful. The real beauty is not just what's on the plate. The real beauty is the choice. The glass house on board Iona. It's the place to be when you want to kick back and relax with a great plate of food and a glass of wine, of course. The West Indies chocolate tart. Very indulgent and spicy. This is the kind of treat our guests will be able to get all day at Vistas. Iona. It's dining with a view, sailing up the fields, and there you are, if you can almost touch them. How magical, how special, how beautiful. Feeling peckish now, yeah. Well, Eric Lanard came into our office. He started cooking chocolates and stuff in our office and doing really? like, oh, yeah, we get oh, all, all, all the celebs in the office. All coming out. Never got any. Um, <laughs> but they really are focusing on the food and the entertainment as well. It's going to be a wonderful entertainment, and that's all going to coincide because people nowadays don't want the set dining anymore. They no, want I the don't, freedom to, to go and do what they want to do. So they're basing the whole of their first summer season, May 2020, all the way through to October. We'll be doing seven-day fields cruises, and then once they've done that, the ship will be bedded in. 
sorted for the year, great, ready to go. And then they're going to look and start going to other destinations. I, I really great. fancy this. Based out of Southampton as well, take as much luggage as you yeah. want and, and really go for it. But really, really good itinerary. Well, talking of the itinerary, um, we are going to, of course, be cruising out of Southampton, as Glenn just said. So nice and easy. Yep. Pack your luggage. First days at sea, which I love because I, when it's a new ship, I want to explore, don't you? Well, exactly. And there's so much to see. It's a big, big ship to see. And again, we always mention as well the Holiday in, Holiday in Winchester the night before. Yeah, of so course. Park up there. Um, and then this one's going to go across through the channel and go over to Hamburg. Now, again, Hamburg is, is a great city. It's the second biggest city in Germany. Great just to wander off. Most of these ports, of course, cool, you go in on here you can do tours if you want to but I would say recommend just go off and get lost for the day go down to the Reaper Bar you go down to the, the big beer gardens they have there it's based on the River Elbe you've got some of the markets and again depending on what time of year you go especially if you're doing the December one you are going to pick up with the Christmas markets and that's a completely different atmosphere always quite cold there so of course wrap up warm but it's just a great opportunity to wander through and again if you've not done the Christmas markets a little bit more expensive but if you go that 20th of December that's a good one to go to as well so that's Hamburg. We then have a day at sea and then what's quite nice we dock then into Amsterdam. Now I understand there's a lot to see here and because of that they're giving you an overnight on board so the ship will dock, the gangways will come down and then you're free and, to go as you please. And we should say one of the, the dates is a, is an April date as well. It's so an April date as well so really that's a little bit lovely, later on. Yeah, so I think that's going out the 3rd of April. So we've got dates in October 2020, December, February and April 21. Just so imagine the tulips, that's all. In nice. April, yeah. you should be there, should uh, Off to Kirk and Hoff to go yeah. and see the, uh, the, the tulips. But again, in Amsterdam, go and hire a bike for the day. Bikes are everywhere. Go down at Madame Tussauds. You can go to Anne Frank Museum. There's a lot of stuff to do there. They do a walking tour. I did the walking tour with some of my clients a few years ago. And that's really interesting because I've been to Amsterdam quite a few times. But it's nice to go with a guide and walking. You do see yeah. a lot more. And he took us all around the sites of Amsterdam, as you can imagine. From there, we went into Zeebrugge. Uh, that's your next port of call. And again, Zeebrugge's OK, again, if you just want to wander off. But most people take the shuttle bus to the train station. And then from there, they take the train. I and think the train was about eight euros. I was going to say, so I, I've done that myself, and it's a really easy train. Yeah, it's like, 20, 25 yeah. minutes. And, and you just follow the crowd and everything. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone easy. goes into it. And then what's nice about it, again, depending on when you go into Bruges, if it's near Christmas markets, that'll be uh, really, really nice. But again, you've got the canal, you've got the swan surfs um, swimming on there. And then as you wander down into the centre of the town, into the main square, again, normal markets or Christmas markets. You've got the horse-drawn carriages, which is quite nice and romantic. The bars, again, if it's a bit cold, they'll have the fires on. You can go have your, your Belgian beers, your waffles, and of course the chocolates. It's always a nice place to yeah. bring back home. So, oh, a nice, lovely. it's quite a nice relaxing ports of call. Yeah. They're not massive ports of call. You can just wander off and do your own thing. But the thing with this one is also to see the ship, and that's going to be the selling point of this particular Well, one. I'd love to share with you uh, some more wonderful images because I mean, she is very, very special, I think you'll agree. Um, just look at the designs, lots more open spaces, lots more yeah. glass, yeah. Um, beautiful decor. Though. The thing is, because it's doing the fields for the first summer, obviously that's a very scenic cruise yeah. anyway. So just so, looking at the coffee yeah, bar. So, I mean, that's the coffee bar there. Yeah. So it's built to have those views for you just to sit back, relax. But as I said, loads of bars and pubs and restaurants. Some of them are included, some of them got small charges. And with P&L, actually, if you do do some of the speciality restaurants, they can be up to five pounds per person, up to 25, 30, depending on when you want to dine. Oh, that's why I friends are boats. Janet and Colin, they went for a conservatory mini suite. Yeah, so they're, they're the Looks balconies, lovely. but they've also got a conservatory yeah. as well, which would work really, really nice on this itinerary, because again, if the weather's good, you can go outside. If not, you can almost sit in the conservatory and, then and be a little bit warmer. I think that's there. a great Yeah, idea. a lot of the Love ships it. are doing that now, and they're very, very popular. But again, we've got a variety of different cabins, and again, at the moment, you can go all the way up to decks 15, 16, 17. They're really high, the cabins. I mean, and it is, she's selling really well, isn't she? She's selling really, really well, but again, they've got a lot of um, cruises to sell. So again, the availability is there, but again, things like those family of four prices are limited. Yeah, so really get that booked in if you want to take the family. Um, now, just to add you what's included tonight, um, this is their newest ship. She's amazing. I think they own that. No tips required. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, tips, um, tips, sorry, tips used to be seven pounds per person per day. They're now included in right. the price of the cruise. Now, my credit card's quite, quite full at the moment, Glenn, but the good news is, it's only a pound deposit per person. Oh, so I need two quid on it. I've, been, two I've, quid, I've yeah. just got that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, great family of four price, uh, 1855. Five. That's amazing for family of four there. And the item is they, they differ uh, slightly just depending on departure date. They just call for details. There's a pricing uh, grid for you. Um, what I would say, having cruised the fjords a few times myself, and, and this part of the world, I should say, you know, Bruges, Hamburg. Um, 
you, there's some lovely views. So you, you... I think those any dates you go there is quite nice. I would just pencil in that 12th of December though, especially those ports of call you're going I'm to. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I, I know it's a little bit more expensive, but having the Christmas markets and that atmosphere. If you go there, you're back by the 19th. You've got a week before Christmas. But again, even if you wanted to then go in April, you know the weather's going to be a little bit better. Just depends on what uh, dates you want to go. But, but uh, I do think it could be worth just for that little bit more to go for the outside and the balcony there. Yeah. Or even the suite, which starts. Uh, the best price for the suite I noticed was the 3rd of April. For some reason, that's only 979. Nice Very eh? good, isn't it? Very I like good. that one a lot. Uh, anyway, the sofa suddenly looks a lot more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she matches the backdrop there, look. Of course, uh, one of my absolute favourite guests, Ruth from Celebrity. You know I've cruised with Celebrity, I think, eight times now. Love Celebrity Ships. Ruth is here tonight. Good oh, evening. It's lovely to be back. You look amazing. With you both. Thank hey, you Glamis. very much. Thank you. Um, I'd like to make an effort for you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't the same when we both turned up in the car about three hours That's ago. That's true. We're <laughs> melting in this heat, <laughs> weren't we? <laughs> Ruth, you want to represent five-star modern luxury with celebrity. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what my brand is. That's what I try yeah. and represent. And so you do absolutely. beautifully. <laughs> um, Thank you. The deal you've got tonight, this is, I was, mm. and I, I was saying this earlier, I actually have looked at this itinerary before. Uh, yes. Sadly, I don't get the holiday allowance that Glenn gets. So I, I, <laughs> I haven't been able to do this one yet, but it is on my list, uh, at the very yes. top of my list right now. Beautiful itinerary, but the price tonight, because it's three weeks this one, is it incredible. Is. It really is. It actually works out at £81 per person per night for no. the lead date, which for celebrity, when it is five-star, multi-award winning, modern luxury experience, is incredible. And it's one of those amazing parts of the world. You know when people want a bit of winter sun, they don't want to fly all the way to Australia, halfway yeah. around yeah. the world, or they don't have time to. They've done the Caribbean yeah. a few times. Yeah. This Double is kind of medium haul, yes. towards long haul, fabulous winter sun, and so much cultural immersion well, as I well. Well, I don't know what's happening with celebrity. I was saying to Ruth earlier, I've been yeah. in for the last few, I've actually been in work the last few days. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, I goodness. haven't stopped selling celebrity. Everyone that's running yeah, up is celebrity. That. I think I've done 11, yeah. 11 bookings in the last couple of days Fabulous. Celeb and that's the edge that's the apex that's all the it is and actually you. since we premiered edge in europe a couple of months ago and of course i've been here on the sofa a couple of times yeah. doing edge and apex it's given a real buzz to the celebrity yeah. brand yeah. everybody um, wants more celebrity i've got to say i was at a 70th birthday party on a saturday met yes. two girls sue and ellie um and they are huge celebrity fans bigger than you um, That's not do you possible. know what? I, they've actually <laughs> been, they're, they're Zenith members. So they've oh been my on, goodness. <laughs> they've been, on a, yeah, they've been well, on a lot of celebrity cruises. Wow. Yeah. They're very yeah. loyal. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, they, they love it. But, you know, they, couldn't, they could not say enough wonderful words about celebrity. Oh, that's but, lovely. But um, the itinerary tonight, the destinations, this is a once it in a lifetime. It is wonderful, trip, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. And we're starting in Singapore. We are. Singapore, yeah. So we're going to fly you over to Singapore. Obviously, we're going to take you to Singapore. And for this one, I think we based it on a uh, two night stay. What I would recommend, if you've got, if you're going to do 21 nights, do 22 nights because we've given you two nights stay in Singapore. I would recommend having an extra night if you can. Yes. A lot of stuff to see if you've not been there. Gardens by the Bay, we'll talk about later. You've got Marina Bay Sands. You've got Raffles Hotel, uh, Sentosa Island. So I think you've got more than enough to do in three days. So I would try and extend it by an extra day. You're probably mm -hmm. looking at another 60, 70 quid for an extra night in a hotel. Wow. So it's worth doing it. And then from there, once you've done Singapore, we are of course going to join the ship. Yeah. And, and Ruth. Um, you're going to just give us a, a, an overview of the kind of I experience am, we're because have. this is a really phenomenal itinerary on one of our most popular ships as well. And you will have all of your favourite ex uh, celebrity experiences on board. If you want breakfast delivered to your balcony, there you go. Our martini ice bar oh. and all of the wonderful entertainment as well. And our crew and officers, they'll get a, such an amazing celebrity experience. And Constellation actually receives some of the highest ratings in the fleet for our crew and our service. But we also really try to bring some of the destination on board the ship as well through our chefs, some of the dishes they'll create for you, some of the events and onboard experiences which you can see there. We'll also try and bring some of the local entertainment on board. And when you see this itinerary, it's something you won't want to miss. Especially where we have late nights or overnights. Where possible, we'll bring on all of the local wow. artists and entertainers. There are also tours to the local market, so you can really immerse yourself in the food, in the culture. So there's some wonderful shore excursions you can take as well. Or alternatively, you can do your own thing, of course. 
but you're going to experience everything from incredible temples and palaces to the sand dunes to the jeep safaris to also iconic cities as well uh, such as dubai so this holiday really does have it all for culture of everything you could possibly want all wrapped up in celebrity modern luxury. what i love about that i i really want to visit Dubai but I don't think I I don't know if I want to spend a week there yeah I want to travel around India but I don't want to do it you know on a land tour packing no, and moving really and packing don't. and moving a lot of, a lot of yeah. our clients want to visit India but you know they they worried about the, the bellies and stuff like that they want to travel so they want to get off for the day yes and see it but they know that they're going to come back in to modern to a, luxury exactly. on a five star cruise night yes, so. that's right and, and you get to see so much of the world in one you trip you really yeah. do and i always say that we've done this i think we've done this cruise three years two or three now, years in a row now and it always whenever it, whenever we sell it everyone starts yeah. booking it yes. because they want to see these artists exactly like you so we're going to do singapore we're going to pick up the ship from there and then from there we've got a day at sea which again we've talked about is nice to go and experience Right. Yes. One of the speciality <laughs> restaurants. Yeah. Or so I love my sea days with celebrities. I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Package yeah. or whatever you're going to do. <laughs> exactly. And then we go into wonderful Phuket. Now, Phuket, you've got loads of stuff to do. The beaches are phenomenal to eat and drink off the ship. But I would recommend a trip over to James Bond Island. Um, if not, you've got the Wat Shillong Temple. So if you want a bit more beachy snorkely, do that. If you want to go to the Wat Shillong Temple, that's great. But at the James Bond Island, when we did it, we went there. And then we went to the Floating Village, which is wonderful wow. to go and see with the schools and the locals on there. Very, very interesting. But this is some of the views that you're going to get wow. when you're travelling through Phuket. You've then got two days at sea, again, to relax and chill out. So you're going to sunbathe, you're going to top up your tan and get ready for all of the ports of call, which is a nice way to do it. We then start heading down into Colombo. Now, Colombo in Sri Lanka is... I've been there on the ports of Corny once, and you've got the whole Corniche there, but a lot of the ships don't go into Colombo, Sri Lanka, so it's a little bit different. It you've is. You've got the colonial architecture to go and see. You've also got the temples. You've got the National Museum. You can try one of the elephant trekkings, which is what we did there, or also a trip over to Independence Square. But it's not a port of call that many of the ships go to, mm -hmm. so something a little bit different. It's actually the biggest port of call, the biggest reason people book this itinerary is to do Sri Lanka. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. From there, we then start heading down into our Indian ports of call, and we're going to start off in Cochin. Now, again, if you've never been to India before, I've been to Goa, and it is a, a senses explosion. It's mm. going to open up your eyes. Um, you think you've got the, you know, you talk about first world problems, you go to India, and it really opens your eyes. You do see all types of ways of life there, but when you do the tours, and I recommend doing tours yeah. here, to be yes. quite honest, to go off and see as much as you can that's going to see. You go off to Fort Kochi, you can go to, again, another of the museums and the palaces. You can do one of the wooden boat cruises. This is wonderful to Brilliant do. Brilliant tour. Fantastic. But you need to do it. And, you know, you may only go to these ports of call once, so why just walk off the port and have a stroll? Go and do the tours yeah. and immerse yourself yeah. into the culture. Then a day at sea, and then we move on to Goa. Now, Goa is proving very popular with the Brit tourists at the moment. A lot of them are holidaying there. Famous for the beaches, the swimming, the snorkeling, and the diving. But again, you've got the Dada Falls. You've got the Bondi Wildlife Sanctuary. But again, some of the beaches there are fantastic to go and see. Just depend on whether you want to go more beachy or more cultural. We then go down into Mumbai. Now, this is going to be one of the highlights. Mm. And from here, obviously, uh, you've got the gateway to India. Uh, you've got the caves, the temples. You can try some of the local cuisine. That's the gateway there. But the other thing we were talking about is that you could do yes. the overland Well, because tour. we're there for two days, you've got an overnight. Uh, so you've got plenty of time. And the one thing everybody wants to see is the Taj Mahal, of course. Of course. And yeah. we do run a two-day shore excursion. So it's overland with an overnight hotel. Yeah. Uh, and you can actually go all the way to the Taj Mahal as well. It's impossible yeah. to do in a I, day. I think I would definitely do that. Yes. Yeah, you'd have to, yeah, but again, with that one, if you're going to do it, book it early. Make sure yeah. your availability yes. there on that one so you can get that booked. Then two days at sea. Then you go down into Muscat. Uh, now you're heading back over into the Middle East. And again, another different place in the mm. world. Different from India, different from Sri Lanka, different from Phuket. But again, with the Corniche there, you've got a chance to go and have a day. I would recommend the trip to the Sultan Grand Mosque. That's really, really interesting to go and see. And I think, me personally, all these places you should be doing tours, really, yeah. to get the most yeah. out of the ports of call. From there, we then go back into Dubai at the playground of everyone who wanted to go and see here. Now, again, with this one, you get an overnight on board, but we've also packaged it with two nights off the ship. So oh, in theory, great. you've got three nights in Dubai. A trip to Palm, Atlantis, do the desert safaris, they're great fun. 
go to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalif. They do the trip above the clouds, and mm -hmm. that's the tallest building in the world. And of course, shopping in the malls. And actually, we have got a date that takes in Christmas and New Year on this itinerary, and you're actually overnight in Dubai, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Overnight, and oh. you can see the world record holding fireworks at the Burj Khalifa. Which is phenomenal. What a way to spend and, New and Year's the, Eve, huh? And the price, bear in mind, it's Christmas and yes. New Year's is amazing. Yeah, that, really. it really and is. Yeah. Dubai, we've we've do done that. it three days. Again, all of these pre and post days, you can extend them longer if you wanted to. Certainly so can. Or shorten them if your time is a little bit more restricted, but we've done it with two days either side. That's right. And actually, if you wanted to add on different stays, if you wanted to go to Bali at the yeah. beginning, or the Maldives, or you wanted to add on the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, you can do that as well. Uh, can we just see this beautiful ship? She's one of your highest rated. She isn't is. You? She is. She's not one of our newest ships, but the, the crew and the service are incredible. Well, I, I've cruised on the Millennium, and she's identical. A, yeah, sister yes, yes. Two thousand one hundred guests, Aqua Class, which we both love. Yeah. So you'll have Blue Restaurant. We have our Sweet Class, so Luminae as well. We've got the specialty restaurants that our guests know and love: Tuscan Grill and Cuisine. Both of them are on Celebrity Constellation. And of course, you've got the Sunset Bar. All of those wonderful features. Especially the Martini oh, Ice yeah. Bar. We Still could never there, have a celebrity yeah. ship without I, a Martini Bar. When I bar. see these images, I have so many happy memories flooding back. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Really, Persian Garden. Uh, again, if you the go The state rooms the past, are beautiful, yeah. very spacious. But you will have the typical celebrity experience on a medium-sized ship. Yeah. Just over 2,000 guests on Constellation. Oh, I so want to do this one. Um, let's just show you what's included. Now, yes. Ruth, you've got, and I love it when celebrity have this, Yes. You're offering the free classic drinks package on Ocean View. We are all above, on you? all of the dates as all well. All of the dates, all of brilliant. Them. That would save me an awful lot because <laughs> uh, it's a long, it's a long cruise, so yeah. that's, that's yeah, important. It is. Uh, we also give you the two-night hotel stay in Singapore and Dubai. Then return flights based on London. Could you do other flights? Yeah, if we use right. Emirates, we can probably do Birmingham, Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow. Might be a small supplement, but speak to the guys; they can do that for you. Uh, and also, you can upgrade the 30th of November package this year to include the Abu Dhabi. That's easy to say. Or the Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Um, and we have got dates. I'll be honest, I'm looking at 2021. Yes. Um, just because I don't yep. have the holiday allowance. But just remember, but just we remember as well, if you do the 21 date, you just pay a deposit. Yes. And then you can pay it off yeah. of our system over the next sort of two years. Um, so an amazing offer. And let's just remind ourselves of, of my favourite drinks package at sea, <laughs> the classic. It's so good though, isn't it's it? It's incredible value because you can use it all over the ship. Uh, in every single lounge, bar, restaurant, and you can use it to take bottles of water ashore yeah. on your tours as well. But it's all of your soft drinks, specialty teas and coffees, a huge list of cocktails, um, wines. I mean, it's just a huge yeah, drinks package. And those bottles of water will be worth the price of gold in India. Again, <laughs> they yeah. will. Take them from the yeah. Um, and yeah, some of the cruises, their drinks packages are a bit limited and there's things that you can't this find. This one is Price-wise, I mean, you've got to bear in mind, you will be away for 20 Nights. Three weeks, so £81 per person per night. The lead dates there are the 14th of January or the 13th of February, but you can see how many different dates we've got. Now, if you upgrade to an ocean view, don't forget you get the drinks package as well, and the price is from £29 per person per night. Wow. Well, there you go. There's a couple of cocktails yeah. paid for already. If you book a balcony, there are dates where you can upgrade to a concierge stateroom for just £5 per person per night. If you go to a concierge, you could book aqua class for seven pounds a night. I'm looking at that. I mean, I said to Ruth earlier, the, yes. the aqua class is amazing. Phenomenal on pricing. Yeah, you could do yeah looking really at like is. the 13th of February there, just yes. over three thousand pounds. Yeah. Ruth, we are sadly out of time. I know. I will do that itinerary. I really will. But it <laughs> I'm will going to hold the, you to uh, that. It will be 2021. <laughs> That's all right. It's and on sale. It's a pound deposit. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. You're very welcome. We love celebrity. Great to be back. Um, anyway, we. Um, we now have a, a cheeky deal from Cruise and Maritime. It's a biggie, is this one. It's a world cruise. Um, my dream is to do a world cruise. Obviously, I, I'll, I'll be doing it when I'm retired. Um, I'm nearly 60, remember? But, um, <laughs> but um, 42 nights. Uh, tell me about this one, Glenn. I've done this. I know you've, you've done the entire thing. I'm the short excursions manager for this one. Yeah, so sailing from Tilbury, and then you head all the way over. You then go down into the Amazon and the Caribbean, which is wonderful. So completely different destinations. I would say the Amazon, if you've done the Caribbean before, the Amazon is different. We went piranha fishing. We went hunting for the Cayman. 
it, it's a wonderful itinerary. And I'm not going to give too much away. Give the guys a call because it is a brilliant, brilliant itinerary. Magellan's fantastic as well. Holds 2,000 people. They only fill it with about 1,250. Right. And it's Loads their latest acquisition tube. One no, of the, no, well, no. One of the latest, one of the latest yeah, ones on that. Say. Yeah. And it must book by the 5th of August. What's nice about this, couple of days into it, it starts to warm up, warm up. And then you've got all wow. that itinerary down there. And it's almost like going on an adventure for 42 days. I mean, and then back into two And it's with. under £55 per person. Good like. single price on that as well. They're very good single price. Um, but it's a flash sale. You've got to book by the 5th of August. Uh, so 55 quid a day. On. So anyway, if you just want to ring and get more details, the ID number 272715. Exactly. But a world cruise, £55 per person per night on that one. Uh, but I'm, my very first cruise I, were, was 11 years ago now, and it was with Royal Caribbean, and they got me hooked. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's done its job since, hasn't it? <laughs> it was a 40th birthday, cruise Royal Caribbean, loved it, never looked back. And the Independence of the Seas is actually one of my favourite ships still. Yeah, it's they, they obviously got, uh, I don't remember what the word is, remastered, revitalised, uh, spruced up <laughs> uh, last <laughs> year, last I May. I need that. Last we'll year go. we went on it to have a look at it, but the ship was good before, but yeah. now they've added all the little bits on. They've got the water park on there, they've got the ice skating, they've got the surfing, they've got so much activity, and, and we loved it when I took my... I took my daughter on and, uh, and my wife, and you'll probably have a look at it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is you, isn't it? This is classic telly. Oh, it is brilliant. Independence of the Seas, voted the best ship sailing from Southampton, will be even more extraordinary after her amazing multi-million pound makeover. Kids of all ages will love the ship's stunning features. Two wild water slides, splash away bay water park, an exciting escape room, and a trampoline bungee dome. There are loads of fantastic additions here on Independence of the Seas. One of these are the children's water park, Splash Away Bay. Kids won't want to leave the park, which boasts pools, water slides, water cannons, a jungle gym, and that infamous drench bucket. As well as this, the incredible sky pad will thrill guests of all ages. This is a complex of four trampolines, which can either be enjoyed as they are, or while wearing a virtual reality headset, which will transport you to unique adventures. Other features you can enjoy while on board are the ice rink at sea and full-size basketball court. You can also take part with one of Royal Caribbean's most popular features, the Flow Rider Surf Simulator. As you sail the waves, you can also surf them too. There's the vertigo you get when you go on the climbing wall or even enjoy some popcorn with the outdoor cinema. There's so much to do. Also, another great thing is the new addition of fish and ships. Don't forget Johnny Rockets, Giovanni's Table and Chop's Grill as they are always dishing out the deliciousness. Also, if you've got a sweet tooth, then check out the Sugar Candy and Ice Cream Store. As you can see, my family loved it, and my daughter, Brooke, was never out of the store. She definitely has got that sweet tooth. <laughs> she was in there for hours. <laughs> still in there. She's still in there. <laughs> that was great. Do you know... When I've cruised Royal Caribbean, there is something for everything. Yeah, there you is. Know, whatever yeah. age, and I've seen extended families from there. You know, the, the grandparents right down yeah. to little toddlers. It's something uh, for everything. winning the Keys Club, we went straight to the bar. Yeah, Fantastic. absolutely. Was, yeah. But, but there is, and as I said, the other thing which was really good on there, we did, a, uh, I think it's called Azumi, which is their Tabernacle restaurant. <gasps> you know, where they're cooking it all in front yeah, of us. Nice. And they looked after Brooke and May's, and they were flipping food around. And I think we paid about 30 quid to go there. But the, the restaurants are absolutely yeah. wonderful, and the ship's got so much. I mean, the ports are cool are good, but it's the ship you go. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're, we're cruising out of Southampton, so nice and easy. Yeah, nice uh, one on this one. And then we're going over to across the channel. We're going into La Havre. Again, the gateway here to go and see Lowe's. We always say Paris, but you can go along to Honfleur and Rouen, which I would definitely recommend. You go to the D-Day beaches. You can go to Monet's house. You can also go um, over and see the Bay of Tapestry. Yes, some of, the tours. of So this is a really good destination. Paris is good. It's a full-day tour, but if you don't want to do that, have a look at one of the others. Relaxing day at sea and loads of stuff. We did the ice show. I said to, I said to Helen, when we were on so let's go and watch the ice show. She went, what, they've got an ice show on board? I went, yeah, full ice show. So we went to go and see that, all free included. Um, then we went down to Vigo. Vigo's great. This is, again, at the tip of Spain. Uh, places here you can go and wander off. Really good fish restaurants here just to wander off and go and sit and have some shellfish and have a glass of wine, taking the views. But again, plenty of other stuff. You can also go to Santiago de Compostela, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So lots of stuff to do. Lisbon, we talk about a lot of Lisbon. Always talk about the sailing, sail out under the bridge. But it is, it's a lovely. It is it's lovely, lovely under the bridge. That's yeah. the Lisbon Bridge there, 25th of April Bridge. You've got the Bellum Tower. 
again, when you go into the main town, I would take one of the trams to go around. Yeah. We go into the main square. And again, this is another place where you can spend the morning doing something and just relax in the afternoon, a bit of people watching. There's the famous yellow trams and they've also got the glass elevator. I, I love just wandering around, seeing a few sites, having a few beers. Yeah, it's great. exactly. And there's custard tarts. Yeah. <laughs> Do you never have the custard tart? Uh, what, in Lisbon? Yeah. Yeah, I have, yeah. I don't know what they're the call. It's a name. It's normally after a couple of beers. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we're sophisticated oh, pair, you and I, aren't we? Yeah. And then we've got two days at sea, uh, just for, to experience the ship as you head back into Southampton. But nice side to ports are called a good, but again, the ship is wonderful. And look at the price, upgrade there to a balcony. Yeah, well, we've got a free upgrade tonight um, from interior to a balcony. This is what's included, a really good deal from... Um, Say so, Royal Caribbean, a free balcony upgrade, which is lovely. Uh, huge new savings on last minute 2019 departure date. So these are news. Just in fact, this deal was just came in, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Today, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, family of four can cruise from 2299. And uh, whenever you're cruising out of uh, Southampton, if you, it's a long journey for you, take the stress out of it, add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. That gives you breakfast, parking for the week, and your port transfers as well. And uh, you can see we've we've got the same price on interior, ocean view, a balcony, and a great family of four. Really good, as well. yeah, yeah, exactly. You, well, you think if you times that by two, and then what the kids are paying as well. Yeah, but very again, good. Limited availability on three and four berth cabins. Yeah, always. Um, but something I've been very lucky. I, I think I've done uh, about thirty cruises now. Um, but I have yet to experience. We're going to get you on a river cruise. A river cruise, yeah. I'd like to with my mum actually. Yeah, they were they were a lot more relaxed, a lot more chilled out. Uh, you know, like like you've just completely different to the ship we've just shown. Yeah, Independence yeah. Seas. But this is a great one. This is a fourteen nights European gems from Budapest. So wonderful destinations. You're going to see Vienna, Mel Nuremberg, Rudersheim, Cologne, um, Amsterdam, and this one here is saving up to a thousand per person. Free excursions and Wi-Fi, drinks with meals, tips included. Now, normally, if you're looking at some of our river cruises for two weeks, they're normally three, three and a half thousand. Yeah. This is starting from 2089, and this is with APT, one of the top river cruise companies, five-star luxury, and again, return flights from London, plus overseas transfers. There is a supplement on regional flights. Give the guys a call, but really, that's very really good, nice. isn't it? And you want to chill out 6th of April for two weeks, that's a good one. Yeah. Very good, actually, especially with all, everything that's included there. Yeah. But it is now time for this week's Destination Hotspot. You've been working so hard with those little things. We love that, I don't know, we do, Destination Hotspot. But this really is, Glenn, because um, we've, we've both been very looking with crews on the Caribbean yeah. you know, quite a few times. But this is one of the, the most inclusive itineraries we've ever had on the show. Well, isn't it? I, was, I was saying to you tonight, I think this is going to be one of our biggest sellers yeah. tonight because the, the Caribbean's great and we get a lot of people that want to go to the Caribbean but want to experience. I mean, you do some of, the, some of the cruises, you sail out of New York or you're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale, and you do a week's Miami, cruise, and by the time, yeah, and by the time you've got to two or three ports of call, then you're sailing back again and you're not really seeing the Caribbean. This is one of the only cruises I know for a 14 night cruise where you do not have a sea day. You don't have a sea day. So, you, you wait, you are... <laughs> you seem, we you, need a separate show for the ports. Yeah, it's actually called the, the Grand Caribbean Cruise, because yeah. it, it really does take in virtually everything. Yeah, so let's just talk about the ship, because she's beautiful, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's beautiful, the Preciosa. So, based over in Barbados, which is always nice. And the Preciosa, as many of the MSC ships, very modern, European feel. Now, because it's over in the Caribbean... Here's Keith getting his food, look, his ice cream. Um, because it's based over in the Caribbean, generally in, in the Med, um, uh, MSC have a lot more Italian and Europeans. It's going to be more mixed over in the Caribbean. So you'll have the Brits, you'll have the Europeans, you'll have a few Americans on board, which gives it quite a nice vibe. Yeah. Restaurants are good. Entertainment's fantastic. Cater for all needs. Very, very modern as well. Now, you can add drinks packages on. Give the guys a call. They'll let you know how much. And they're, they're pretty them. good with MSC. Yeah, they're they? yeah. about, I, I don't want to say, about 30, 35 pound a day. So, depending on what you drink, they're quite good value. But if not, you can pay for your drinks. Um, but what's good about this one is, again, the ports of call. So, if we start running through the ports of call, I'm going to have to go on through quickly because there's so many of yeah. them. Okay? So, um, but so you brace can, yourselves for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. But this one's going to fly you in with Virgin direct from Gap week only okay so they're the end now once these flights go they will start have to buy flights in they'll probably be indirect and they'll be a lot more expensive so if you want to book this Gatwick Virgin flights I think it's a 10 o'clock in the morning flight gets you there at 3 in the afternoon I mean I, I love 
Oh, I love yeah. flight with Virgin. But yeah, do it tonight if you can off first thing tomorrow morning. But if you want to tick off the ports of call here, you go first of all to Trinidad. Very much uh, more traditional Caribbean. Again, good for beaches. Again, maybe do a tour here. We used to go to Trinidad. But this is more one of the ports of call that you probably don't go to so much as with some of the other cruise lines. So uh, Trinidad's got the vibe, the Caribbean, the a um, uh, lot of stuff going on in Trinidad, but it's a good place to see. We're then going to one of my favourites, which is Grenada. Now here you yeah. can go and do the Spice Island. You can go and trip. I would recommend a trip on the Rum Runner. You normally hear the Rum Runner coming in from about three miles away in the afternoon. Great cruise they have there. But Grenada, fantastic island, and Grand Zant Beach is phenomenal. St Vincent's nice. I wouldn't spend too much time in St Vincent. I don't think there's much there. But you might want to take a trip over to Beckwe. You might want to take a trip over to um, also the kayaks. They do kayaking there. And they do a trip. We used to take the catamaran to the set of the Pirates of the Caribbean. You know where Johnny Depp, the ship, sunk and he just walked onto the landing of Pirates? That's where that was filmed ah, in, uh, okay. in St Vincent. We then go on to Martinique and Guadeloupe. Now, these are the only two ports of call that are repeated. So Martinique and Guadeloupe, I'll do them both together. They are rainforest islands. They're French islands. So again here, you might want to do a tour um, to go out and see the island. But what I would say to break it up is maybe the first week, get off in Martinique and then stay on the ship in Guadeloupe and have a day at sea to relax and then swap it round the other way. Yeah. Okay, so, but again, but they are beautiful, beautiful they? islands, French colonial islands, and again, they've got various tours to go out there, but you might want to use those as your sea days yeah. during the week if you wanted to. Tortola is British Virgin Islands, great to go Treasure Point snorkeling, great, great to go to Cane Garden Bay. We also did the Dolphin Discovery there, which is just around for the port area. But again, that's where a lot of the rich and famous have their boats. Nice place to go. And that's where Gwyneth Paltrow got married. We then go into St. Martin. St. Martin is split between the Dutch and the French side. We dock, dock in the Dutch, you can go over to the French side. Good for shopping, gets busy there because the ports of the ships in there, so I would head out over to the French side and then come back in the afternoon. Give yourself time to come back because it does get busy. But again, we used to do the quad bikes there and you've got air yeah, and, I, I and you've got yeah. aer aeroplane beach which are, which is where the plane actually lands over the beach. Yeah. Just be careful of that. I one. know because you get really close, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Dominica's not Dominican Republic. Dominica is the rainforest island. Now again we were fortunate enough when we were there, we were sitting with Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp in the Fort Young Hotel as they were filming Pirates of the Caribbean. But this we is your... name dropping to oh, I, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> but this is the rainforest island, so Trafalgar Falls, they've only got four roads there, still very, very primitive, but they also do a wonderful trip there called the Wacky Rollers that takes you to the Emerald Pool and that's your Jeep Safari, so I would do that there. St Kitts, moving on to St Kitts Railway, go and have a game at Royal St, K uh, St Kitts Golf Course, or you can take the catamaran over to Nevis Island, whatever you want to do there, good, good place to visit. Then to Antigua, one of the highlight places to go and see, 365 beaches, do the Excellence Catamaran, take a helicopter over to Montserrat, or just go off into St John's, big British influence on this island with a naval base, but again, I've holiday there before, lots of stuff you need more than a day in Antigua, but it will give you a taster. We then come back into Martinique and Guadeloupe, so however you're going to work those uh, two ports of call, and then into St Lucia. St Lucia famous for the Piton Islands, maybe do a trip called Land and Sea, which takes you to the Pitons in the morning, and so free the volcanic area in the afternoon. Again, go off to one of the beaches. St Lucia is one of the prime destinations in the Caribbean. And then from there, back into Barbados, you're going to need a holiday to get over this. But if you think you've been there 14 days and you've seen, I think, 12 ports of call. Amazing, I it's think. It's a really, really good itinerary. Yeah. And the price is £1,400 per person. And, and you weigh your flights and transfer. 15 nights. Uh, and what a great time That's to go. Sell I mean, really the, well. Yeah, it's the 21st of January. That, for me, that is the perfect time to get away yep, to the Caribbean. The ship is going to be beautiful. Um, uh, again, so much choice in terms of entertainment, restaurants. Um, look, I mean, look at that pool. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, say, lots, you know, uh, lots for the children as well. I can't imagine there would be many children at that time. Of year Not right really, now. no. So it's more adults, it's going to be more adults only on there. Yeah. But again, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, nice casino there, beautiful theatre. Yeah. It's a very nice bar. <laughs> what, what more do you want? Uh, so this is what's included. Uh, oh, tips included. Uh, tips included oh, on that. Now they right. used to be. They used to be about eight euros a day. They're now included. Uh, direct flights with Virgin, so they're going to be great flights. But as Glenn said, Gatwick only. Yeah, and they, you've got to be quick for those. You really have, uh, and it works out under ninety-four pounds per person per night. Price-wise. Um, we've got the inside at 1399, outside at 1649, and the balcony at just over £2,000. Amazing. You know that is going to be a top seller, That'll isn't be it? A top seller yeah. uh, We also have, by the way, a little cheeky deal for you. 
with Emma C. Um, it's a seven night Northern Europe cruise from Southampton. The ID number for this one is 196725. Uh, on board the Preziosa there, we're gonna give you a free ocean view upgrade. So the price is 449, that's for, for an ocean view. Yeah. It's amazing, again, 3rd yeah. September, and it's over to Bruges, Rotterdam, Hamburg, and La Havre. And we should still be able well. to do the pound deposit, and then we top it up in eight weeks' time, and then you've got about 12 months to save up 449 pounds. See, sometimes booking early like, like this that's is really good. You're not gonna get any cheaper for that for seven no, nights, are you? No, very much, not for seven nights. And if you think outside. you've never cruised before and you've got friends that wanna try it, why not try that yeah. one? Yeah, oh, you wanna try MC for the yeah. first time, you know. Uh, 449. And that's for the ocean view there, and that's for uh, September of next year. Very good show, isn't it? Good. I don't really know what was. I mean, you know. We knew what was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but really, no, but some weeks you know that things are going to sell. Yeah. Better than others, yeah. you know. We, what we mean? always have busy shows and we always have great deals, but yeah. We, we had a little chat, and we said, it's a really, really yeah, good chat tonight. Really uh, anyway, we're going to move on to uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines now on board the Norwegian Epic. Um, this is a ship that I have always wanted to cruise on, because yeah. it's quite unique in their fleet, isn't it? It is. It, it was one of the biggest ships built at the time. Yeah, it's it's I mean, been based out in Barcelona now for the last few years. Um, and I, I, I just noticed uh, last year or so, Norwegian prices getting a little bit more expensive, a little bit more expensive. and and. They've now rebranded now and bought this new upgrade to Free at Sea. Which is brilliant. Which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it's it's bought the prices now, really, really good prices. Now, the Free at Sea is an upgrade. So for £99 for a week, you not only get a drinks package included in that, up to $15, you also can eat in the speciality restaurants three times. So you can eat in the steakhouse right. three times if you want to. That's £99 done anyway. But so that is, and then with that, if you don't want the dining package, you can have Shorex credit or you can have Wi Fi. But most people go for dining and for the uh, drinks for package. Drinks. The ship itself is very relaxed. Norwegian Cruise Line has no, no formal dress nights. They have no fixed dining. So again, people that just want to go with the flow. And again, this works great with families and couples that don't want to be restricted to dining at the same time. Very heavy on their um, speciality restaurants, but again, you get three meals included at the Free Sea, and their shows are I mean, wonderful. The shows, you just saw Priscilla there. Just, uh, but also, you've got the, the air release, you've got the Cavern Club playing all the Beatles yeah. tracks, if you like that. But again, great vibe on there, and I think. Many people have tried Norwegian, other people haven't. Give it a go. The Epic's a brilliant, brilliant ship. A lot of our guys from the office went there a couple of years ago and absolutely uh, loved it. I, I really like them. I've cruised them a few times. Um, I'd say, when you're looking at a price like this, 819, I'd, you've got to do the upgrade, for, you know, so to get drinks and, uh, you know, another benefit such as a uh, short excursion credit speciality dining for £99. Oh, it's Does great. everyone upgrade? Well, 99% people yeah. do it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got to do it, really. Um, and actually, just looking at the ports, some, some great ports. Actually. It's a good it's Western classic, Med cruise. Yeah. And again, this is sort of a typical sort of first time cruise Med, you know, yeah. the big ports of call that you've got on there. But this one, we're going to fly into Barcelona. Uh, and again, depending on when we're going at what time of year, we can also add on stays pre and post cruise. So if you want to get there and do two nights in Barcelona at the start or two nights at the end, you can. But if this is packaged, I'm just flying you in. From there, we're going to have a day at sea. Lot to do there to go and see the ship, experience it, get some of those speciality restaurants booked. Um, but again, just take it easy. We're then going to, I think, to one of my favourite destinations. Now, Naples itself, I'm not as keen on. It's busy, it's noisy, it can be a bit whatever. I'll move on from that. But what I would suggest you do in Naples is you go off and do some of the tours Vesuvius, Pompeii, Herculaneum, Capri, Ischia, yeah. Vesuvius. Uh, loads of stuff to do I, there. I, I visited Herculaneum on my last cruise and it was one of the most amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people have done Pompeii, done. Herculaneum's the alternative. Yeah, yeah. I'll but, do Pompeii next time, I would definitely. do a trip over to Capri. Capri is one oh, of the sure, yeah. great yeah. But there's too much to do in Naples in one day, but I'd get out of the town and go and do one yeah, of the tours. Yeah, I agree. We're then going to Chivi, Chivi to Vecchia, which is the gateway to Rome. Again, you can spend some time in, in Chivi to Vecchia if you want to, but a lot of people go off there to Rome, and again, the Eternal City, you can go to, of course, the Trevi Fountain. The Colosseum is a must if you go there. Sistine Chapel, Vatican. What I would say to you, whatever you do in Rome, if you want to do the Sistine Chapel and Vatican, do that first because of queues. Get that out of the way first and then filter back from there. Don't leave it to the last bit because there can be queues getting into those places. You don't want to be stranded. So go and do the Basilica first then maybe the Colosseum, however you want to do it. But loads of stuff to see in Rome. All of these ports of call, you need a week there, but you're going to have a day. 
We're then going to Livorno. Livorno's the gateway to go over to Florence, Siena. You can go over to Pisa. Lots of stuff to do here. Most people tend to do the Florence and Pisa trip. But again, in Livorno as well, it's quite nice. But if you haven't been there before, do a trip over to the Ponte Vecchia Bridge in Florence with the Duomo and then head back there to the Leaning Town. Of course, take that all famous picture of pushing the tower back up. Now in May, this place comes alive, this is Cannes. Cannes is down on the south of France, this is where the film festival is. And again, that whole Côte d'Azur is beautiful. You can go from Cannes, if you want to, you can spend the day in Cannes really to be quite honest, and go and see the theatre where they do the, the Cannes uh, film festival. If not, then off to Monaco, uh, Monte Carlo, you can go up to Nice, the trains run along the Côte d'Azur. But this is millionaire's paradise. If you want to mingle with the rich and famous, have a coffee and take in the views. But that's really interesting to go and see the actual festival yeah. itself. From there we go into Parma, Parma's where I got married again. From it's lovely, here, isn't it? It's beautiful, yeah. So again, where we dock in the port area there, you'll see that's where the ships dock. You go along to the right-hand side there, and that's where you'll come up to the cathedral in the centre of Parma, go down the Lonca. You can head over to Soyer, up into the Val de Mossa Mountains. Um, beautiful places there, and again, so I lived there for many years, and it's one of my favourites. And then from then, back into Barcelona, a great seven-day Western Med. But I would, if you can, tag on a couple of days in Barcelona. Um, we're just seeing that single price that keeps spinning round. That's, you know, really good, isn't 12 it? 12.55 on that, yeah. yeah. And that's the same £99 upgrade on the free of seat. Right, yeah. so that's a really good single price, I think you'll agree, uh, for our solo passengers tonight. In, in terms of what's included, um, well, as we've mentioned several times, but it's a really, really good promotion. If you go for free at sea for just £99, you add on two extra benefits. I would, well, you know what I'd go for. I would, and I'm glad, we'd obviously go for the premium That's going to be your main value. That's yeah, be it is. Value. And it drinks up to $15. Um, and I'd, yeah, I'd go for specialty dining. Yeah, I yeah. would. But you can also choose Wi-Fi or short excursion credit. That single special I just mentioned is available at just 1255. They do go very quickly, and that is based on the 20th of October of this year, and return flights based on London. And here's just a, a quick look at the prices. Great selection of dates there as well. For it literally runs every week, Sean. So, yeah. you know, if you can't go one week, it'll go the other. But the guys can give you different prices. And uh, as I said, it's there for you. But there's some good upgrades on there. Yeah. So, again, just give us a call. Don't get different phone number for Planet Cruise. Obviously, from our ideal world number, it's 0808 250 2662. We have one final cruise for you, though. And it is on board the beautiful Sapphire Princess with Princess Cruises. Lovely itinerary again, this one, isn't nice it? Nice one. Yeah, again, we do we do a little bit of Vietnam and, and Cambodia on this one, but this yeah. is tagging it all in. And the Sapphire Princess is a lovely ship anyway. A lot of the Princess ships are very, very similar. But again, the other thing with that one, look at the price. But um, before the cruise, we actually fly you to Singapore and you get a three-night stay in a wonderful hotel. Um, I've only been to Singapore once and I was only there for a day and I felt really cheated. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I really I, want I to go you, back. I said to you before on that other deal as well, give yourself three days if you can. Yeah. But with this one, when we take you over there, we're also going to give you uh, tickets into the Gardens by the Bay. Now, Gardens by the Bay, I, I don't know the full history when it we all got developed, but this is like Avatar. Um, yeah. If you've been to somewhere like the Eden Project in Cornwall, imagine that on steroids. That's the only way I can describe it. This is the flower dome is phenomenal. We went in there and walked around the cloud forest and you walk all the way around that and then you go outside to the skyway. And again, it is something like that. The backdrop, you've got Marina Bay Sands, which is the new hotel. It looks like it's got a ship on the top of it. And then of course at night time it's lit up as well. So it's completely different I mean, it's just, whether you do day or night. It's a fascinating city. Cleanest city in the world as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, honestly, even like the, the, the foliage in the streets, like trees and shrubs and bushes, they all look like they've just been manicured yeah. that morning. Well, you know. have. Yeah, and deadheaded, you know, seriously, yeah. it's like amazing. Oh, you've been doing a gardening show today, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you've been deadheading, yeah. have you? I was deadheading our pub. Me and my other half, Jay, have got a pub, so I was deadheading before I came to work. I don't yeah. need to know that. Let's move on to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk through this beautiful ship. Princess again. I, I, I love Princess. They really are premium, yeah. aren't they? As I said to you before, they're, they're five star on there. And again, they're, they're ships very, very similar. So if you've been on one princess, they're, they're quite similar, but they they pride themselves on not only service, uh, their food, their entertainment on board, but this one is doing Southeast Asia. 
And again, what's what's beautiful on this one, it's taking you to all these destinations. I mean, obviously not going to every single one on this particular cruise, but it just gives you an insight on some of the places they're going to. And again, you know, phenomenal places. Um, and again, if this is not the cruise for you, Princess have got other ships that are based there for the whole of their season. That was Phuket we were talking about, and that's Marina Bay Sands yeah. on the left there. Um, but this is going to take you to so many different places. And I think what's nice about it as well is you've got the chance to go off during the day. You get four ports of call there. And then you know you're coming back to wonderful food in the evening, great shows, um, and you're going to be looked after the whole time. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I, so I, I, I cruise with Princess myself, and, and I, I loved everything about them. Such, such high standards and, uh, say, beautiful ships, great food, great service. Uh, and a lovely atmosphere on board, Yeah, there actually. is. There yeah. is. But I think what we need to do is have a look at the ports of call yes. and then we can sort of show people what we've got on there for you. So, as I said, you've got your three days in Singapore. Now, we've done your three, which I think will be fine. But if you want to, you can extend that longer. That's not a problem and at all. that did include the Gardens by the Bay Tours. Gardens by mentioned. the Bay Tours, yeah. So we can do a day for that for you. And then from there, we've got a day at sea. Then we're going over to Malaysia. We're going to Kota Kinabalu, which is um, phenomenal. Now, you need to go to Mount Mount Kinabalu, the... Uh, phenomenal place to go and see you've got a chance to possibly see the orangutan don't look at me it's got your beard isn't he absolutely that is true look at that look at that look separated at birth that is. Look at that, look. <laughs> um but again you've got the chance there to go and see the elephants if you're into your nature and your wildlife as well you've got the national park and again you've got the local food and markets but this is a place that many of you will not have been to and you've got the chance to go there over in borneo from there we go down a day at sea and then we head into Nha Trang. Now, Nha Trang, we're heading back into Vietnam. And again, this is on a lot of people's bucket list. Again, chill out the beach, relax and take it easy. You've also got the temples. You've got the Ponga uh, Temple. You've got the Long Song Pagoda, but also the Vim Pearl Cable Car. So plenty of stuff to do that. And again, I think if you're going to these places, it might be the only time you go there. Take a tour to see as much as you can. And, and because you don't want to get back in the afternoon and say, oh, did you do that? Oh, no, we missed that. We just sat on the beach. So I would recommend doing something there then we head into Ho Chi Minh City which again is another popular destination a lot of stuff to do here modern history we talk about it a lot but I would recommend a trip over to the Kuchi tunnels I would look at stuff like the War Remnants uh, Museum Independence Square the Notre Dame Square as I said I, I'm very much into the history and I love sort of modern history 50 years 60 years old and 50 60 70s turbulent history in Vietnam but I think it's worth embracing it and learning about it and again you'll get a chance to do that and I said I would recommend a trip to the Kuchi tunnels from there we have a day at sea and then we go to Shinnekeville which is down in Cambodia and again still so cheap to eat and drink out here so again you can chill out the beaches just have a relaxing day go for lunch on the beach and a few beers again if not you can take an ATV tour um, you can go to the waterfalls you can swim you can snorkel nice itinerary uh, if you don't fancy that you can take more of a cultural tour or maybe doing something in the morning and relax in the afternoon we then move on from there, we're going to Lam Shabang, and this is the port to then get into Bangkok. It takes about two hours to get into Bangkok, it's a bit of a trek to get in, so again, recommend a tour there, but again, you can go down to Koh San Road, you can go to the Grand Palace, you can go and find out what Bangkok's all about, great for shopping, take one of the boat trips along the, the river there, but as I said, I've been to Bangkok a couple of times, very, very interesting, and whether you do a cultural tour, or whether you just do your shopping and bartering and haggling, everything there for you to do in Bangkok in Thailand. Now, fortunately enough, I've been to Koh Samui on holiday. I was there at a wedding, actually, um, a little while ago. And um, Koh Samui is beautiful. Oh, it's stunning, yeah. yeah. Um, they always say scenes of the film The Beach with Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio yeah, in this remember, area. Yeah. Um, but again, this is real uh, water sports area. This is your beaches. This is your snorkeling, your catamarans, your diving. If you're into your diving, take your paddy certificates with you. Um, but again, they still have the temples and still plenty of things to see. But again, the beaches here are second to none. And I would recommend a trip there. And then finally, day at sea, and then you're heading back into Singapore, and where they're going to fly you back from. I mean, there. when you see an itinerary like that and all these wonderful places that you get to visit just on one holiday, yeah. and then you're going to be aboard this absolutely amazing. And as I said, the price there is brilliant. I mean, it's it less, is. Less yeah. than 100 pounds a day. I know. You know, this is why I love cruises so much. Um, and you know, cabins, we've got uh, obviously outside, inside balcony, but they're all really beautifully, say, I say designed, great decor, really comfortable. And so if you've been on one princess ship, they're quite similar, yeah. the fleet. But you know, just things like the, the, the bedding and the mattresses with, with princess. You know, I remember the beds being so comfy. Yep, they are very good. Yeah, great night's sleep. Anyway, uh, three nights uh, hotel stay in Singapore. You get the Gardens by the Bay tour. Um, you can upgrade to an ocean view from just £8 per person per night. I mean, you 
definitely do that. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Nice have a bit of light coming in the Especially room. Especially all those beautiful ports. You know, you'd, yep. you'd want to see those as you, as you sail in. And return flights based on London there as well. Price-wise, just to give you the, the heads up here, we've got some great dates throughout January and February of next year. But very little difference we, between we the We based inside. it on London, but again, we can probably use Emirates or Etihad or one of those airlines. So if they want to look at Manchester alternatives, we can do that for you. Again, maybe a small supplement, but we can do that for you. Just noticed on the 3rd of January, there's no difference between the inside and the ocean view. That's good, man. Yeah. Really good. So, yeah, same price on the 3rd of January for the inside and the ocean view, but very little difference to those. We've got mini suites. I actually did stay in a mini suite at one of the cruises. Beautiful. Lots more room, actually. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and balconies, uh, they're starting at just one at nine four. Nine. Anyway, we uh, we are at that time where we need to get our teeth in, Glenn. Here we go. And do a quick recap. So here we go. Teeth are in. We started uh, with this absolutely amazing offer on a, the brand new Iona from p &O. She has been selling really well every time she's featured on the show. It's a uh, northern European city. It's against from Southampton. And... Um, Natalie, one of our producers, has booked this one. Oh. Yeah, very good. Well done, Natalie. Great choice. Didn't book it through me. Uh, deposit from only £1 per person. She budgeted to Dan, who was with us the other week. Oh, did he? Uh, at 489, that one. Then we moved on to that wonderful celebrity cruise now. If you want to see India, Sri Lanka, you want to travel on the Constellation, lead date only the 14th of Jan 2020. Upgrade to the Ocean View, you get the free unlimited drinks package. And again, the starting price is 1699 Two nights in Singapore, two nights in Dubai at the start and end. And again, we've based it on London. We can look at changing those flights for you. And then you can upgrade 30th of November to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And again, you've got all different dates there and add on Golden Triangle, Maldives, Bali available. Give the guys a call, 185 583. Then we had the fantastic independence of the seas from Royal Caribbean. Um, you get a free balcony upgrade tonight as well. Huge savings. Uh, this just came in last minute. I think came in today, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did, yeah. Uh, and a family four price from just 2299 there. The ID number 173217. Then we had that Grand Caribbean, which if you want to see the Caribbean and tick off the ports of call, flights from Gatwick with Virgin, transfers, £94 per person per night. And the date on there is the 21st of January 2020. 12 ports of call. I know. No sea days. And also now MSC have said we're throwing the tips as well. But uh, if you're on those direct Virgin flights, you're going yeah, to Yeah, you've got to get them quickly. Then Norwegian Cruise Lines. Uh, and this was, remember that, uh, seven-night Western Mediterranean cruise from Barcelona. Only 819. And if you upgrade to free at sea, £99 will give you two great benefits, such as a premium uh, beverage package, specialty dining, Wi-Fi or shore excursions as well. Great single price on that one as well, 1255. And uh, don't forget, that is uh, based on the 20th of October. The item number 166215. And then we went on to that um, Princess Cruise, which has got the Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam. If you want to see these places, the lead dates are 29th of Jan 2020. You've got a three-night stay in Singapore, gardens by the bay tour included. You're going to upgrade for £8 per person per night to an ocean view. And again, we've based it on London, small supplement if you want to go to Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow with Emirates probably. Uh, now, if you fancy world cruise, but on a, on a small budget, because I, you know, I know people that have spent £20,000 plus on a world cruise, yep. Um, we have got one for you tonight, under £55 per person per night. You've done this one, Glenn. I've done this. I'm in Thursday if anyone wants to chat to me about it, but this is taking everything. Brilliant, brilliant trips on that one, and I'll talk about it. But that is a great one. You've got to be booking that by the 5th of August. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Flash sale on that one. And then we also had that incredible river cruise uh, from APT there. The 49th European Gems from Budapest there on the 6th of April for 14 nights. You get drinks and meals, tips included, and free excursions and Wi-Fi. So that's got £1,000 off per yeah. person. And I think there. the last one, I don't know if we've got the slide for it, it was that MSC seven nights, I think September 2020. It was. And that was, what, 449 per person? I think it was. That's and that was Ocean View, wasn't it, as well? Yeah, that one. There that you one, go. yeah, 30, that's one. 30 for September. And it was Ocean View, as we said. Uh, Glenn, we're out of time. We'll see you in two weeks. See you in two weeks, mate. Yeah, yeah no, you're going on holiday again, are you? I'm in Thorpe Park tomorrow. Good, help me. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be great. But we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side it'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.